So I'm going to mix the red up. Hopefully this isn't hard in this tube here. It doesn't feel that good. There's not a lot in there. I got two of them. There's not much in here. But uh, you'll see what I mean here. It's enough though. I mix it hot. That's a, that's a lot of hardener. You can ask any body guy. That's a lot of hardener. See I'm covering all that blue? I'm putting a really thin coat on it. Starting to get hard. Curdling up on me. See this? Can you see this out here? I don't really have to worry about that. But that's it. We're already getting hard. See that? That's how hot I mix it. Alright, I'll turn it back on when the camera's uh yeah, I'll turn the camera back on when this is hard. All right, this is it. Oh, I am happy with this. It feels smooth. I got to get this in primer, and I got to put the seam sealer in here. I'm going to set you up and watch you. Uh, I'm going to let you watch me put the seam sealer on. But uh, I got to get this in primer first before I do that. The seam sealer and this is going to get painted at the same time, so uh, it all has to be uniform. I'm just cleaning off my gutter. Got all kinds of junk on it. 
But uh, that's it. You can see where I spot welded that all together. That's all going to get filled in with uh, the seam sealer, that epoxy. And uh, that's it. We're done. So uh, let me tape all this up. We'll, we'll, uh, the customer gave me some spray can primer. I'm going to use that to cover all this. And that'll give us uh, the opportunity. All this has to be sanded down. All this has to be prepared for paint. This is going to get primered. And then we're going to paint it. So we'll see how far we can get tonight. If not tonight, it's going to be first thing tomorrow morning. He's trying to pick this van up tomorrow tomorrow night. So uh, I really want to meet that deadline for him. He was on vacation. And uh, nothing would be better for him to come off of vacation and have his van finished for him. So uh, let's get it. i gotta, I got to weld these couple holes up too. So... Let's uh, let's take care of this for him. All right, it hasn't even been a minute or two. I mixed this stuff hot. I put way too much hardener in. Way too much hardener. <laughs> it's all good though. We're living the dream, right? That's it. You only get one. Remember, more eighty grit. Thank you, craftsman. Let me bring you in here. Started getting hard on me. You see where the difference is? This was my old, so I don't want to go a whole bunch over here. I want to go over here. You can see where it started to harden up on me. Now, if I went all blue, it would be hard to tell. Well, kind of. I mean, you still see this edge, but I don't want to go over here that much. So this is why I changed colors. And you can get the red or blue. It's the only two colors I've ever seen. If you want to get crazy and mix purple and mix the two together, I don't know. That's up to you, but... That's for you to play with. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to sand this down and uh, make her smooth. So let's do it. Start to see that blue through here. We know we're getting there. So all we're doing is we're sanding all these imperfections out of here. You see how it's like unsanded areas? We're taking that down this whole way. We're taking that down. There we go. For doing something by hand. You can fit a little divot there. And that's because it's two different, you know, layers. The seam sealer is going to come in and come in up through here. So that little, little bit right there, I might sand that some more just to get rid of that. But I'm going to come through here again with like 120. And it'll take away all these deep scratches. Let me show you how I do that. So because I made it a different color, I focused in on this red area. You can't even feel that dip that I had a little minute ago. So it's perfectly smooth. This feels good, it looks good. Let me hit it with that 120, we'll see what it looks like. We've got some 180, close enough. And all we're doing with this is taking that 80 grit gouge marks out of all this right here. That like grainy look out.
trying to do this in little circular motions. That'll make all this stuff kind of go away. And I'll probably go over this with like some 320. The customer gave me some 320 to, do, to like do this whole job because he thought it was just going to be a scuff and shoot. So uh, we're going to try to use that so, um, you know, we can actually use it. But uh, let's work this out some more. So we're going to go with this self-etching primer. This goes wherever there's bare metal. It's got like an acid in it that bonds to the metal real well. This is what the customer got me. We're going to put that over to Bondo here. We're going to come back and wet sand this once it dries and it'll make it completely smooth. That's it, I put that on pretty heavy. The reason I spray this upside down, it cleans the tube out and it cleans your nozzle out and uh, it's ready to go for next time. That's it. I got a couple more holes in the roof to patch. Uh, I'll turn it back on when I'm putting the seam sealer on and ready to paint this and uh, hopefully you can learn something. Well, I've managed to lose my pocket knife. There it is. It's over there. Why is it over there? Let's try to open these without a pocket knife. Let's see how well this goes. So these are the mixing tips. They have, uh, you know, where it goes back and forth inside there to mix them. So when you open these up, you need the collar. You can throw the cap away. This thing slides on here, and then this screws on. And that's it. You're ready to rock and roll. This will get me about three quarters of the way, about up to here. And then the second one will get me around the corner to the back where I finished up with the other one. So uh, hopefully this camera's in a good spot. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go from the front to the back. I gotta put a piece of tape up the front so it doesn't drip out over the windshield. And then I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna fill this whole channel up.
And that's about what I figured. Stopped right about there. This one tube does, I don't know, four feet. So I gotta put another tube on here. And we'll finish her up. That's it. We're out. <laughs> so I hope I did a good job because I just ran out. So, uh, So this is it. I got a couple more holes up there I got to patch. First thing tomorrow morning I'm going to fill those in and then paint this. I might set you guys up there so you can watch me do this whole job here. And uh, we can give this back to the customer. But uh, that's it man. That's uh, another job well done. It's another uh, precision repair. <laughs> Again, for those of you, uh, it's just 3M08307 self-leveling seam sealer. It's a two-part. Comes with these tubes to mix them. You don't even have to do that. You do need to get the cock gun, though. The, top, the cock gun is a special deal. It takes the two... This is it right here. Let's see if it's got a part number. I borrowed this. Somebody let me borrow this. I don't even know who it was. I just uh, mentioned to the guys that I work with that I needed it, and they went out and got it for me. Um, awesome group of guys that I work with. But this is what she looks like. It's got the release like a regular one, but it's a two-piston. 
So uh, that's it. I'm calling her tonight. I'm ready to go to sleep. This is uh, about five hours worth of work. The other one was about five hours worth of work. It's 10 hours worth of work between the two. I got another couple hours here. And then, uh, of course, painting it. So that's it. Let me edit this video, get it uploaded to you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.